Minasan konnichiwa, this is David, and this evening we are unboxing the star winning Gundam. Woohoo! Woohoo, yeah. Um, before we get started, mm. uh, I just want to tell you if you haven't seen it, we did a little talk about the star winning Gundam mm. uh, and the sort of significance of it in the um, Gundam timeline. Mm. Um, and we actually talked a little bit about a lot of the various women throughout Gundam history. So. Yep. <clears throat> anyway. Star winning Gundam. Um, spoilers. Spoilers. If you have not, if you're not already aware of what's going on and you are following um, Build Fighters Try and you don't want to be spoiled, you may want to pull back now. All right. Done. Um, box art. There's that spoiler. Oh, it's a pretty spoiler. Yeah. There we go. That's it's, It is a transforming mobile suit. And we're going to see how that works this evening whenever I put it together. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. And what could be better than one star winning Gundam? Well, you know, two star winning Gundam. Yes, we, had, we, <laughs> we struggled, but we found a second one. Yes. We had to actually go to the next city over. Mm. All right. So. These are the links we go through for you guys. I know, right? Our first bag, we have effects parts. Pretty. Lovely, lovely effects parts. Similar to the uh, Gyangyans. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a similar color, maybe mm. identical color to mm. the Gyangyas parts. <laughs> it's as high. Okay, and then we have these gray bits. Mm. Mm. And then we have yellow bits. Yeah, there's that huge V-Fin for the SD version. Mm -hmm. And the still big, but reasonably big version mm -hmm. for the HG version. Mm -hmm. um, huge shoulder blade things. Lots of cool stuff going on. I like that orange. Oh, yeah. Tangerine. This orange is reminiscent of the Curios. It's actually turned out pretty well on the camera, so... I don't know. You say it's orange. I, th I think it's actually um, white and gold. <laughs> I thought it was a llama. <clears throat> and here's our limb pieces. Mm. Or bits. Bits. Or polycaps. Decidedly fewer runners than I would have expected. Yeah, it's a pretty simple kit, all things considered. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Our rest of our limbs mm -hmm. and our skirts and our face. <coughs> and actually, for whatever it's worth, there's the head pieces. It's just uh, two. Yeah. It's not a complicated head. Polycaps. This is the rest of them to turn it into an HG. That would be Dade. And then lastly, we have our manual. Our manual mentions the old SD Musha kit that turned um, into a similar kit. Um, it's technically the first HG to SD, or SD to HG. Um, and then we also have our rocket ship mode there, which is sort of lovely. And yeah, it is, um, it is pretty simple. This is not a complicated kit. He says. Yeah. Are there any customization suggestions? Probably not. Oh, wait. No, no, no. They, they do. Um... Oh, it's giving you some panel line tips. Mm. Yeah. So, there we go. That's the star winning. Um, and we're going to be tossing that together this evening. Oh, last thing. Sorry. Stickers. Holy crap. Uh, this is a thing that I was talking about with some people. Um, there are a lot of stickers here. We do have four sets of eyes for different expressions. But we also have a lot of... Um, a lot of green pieces, pretty much all of the metallic green on the kit, and there's a lot, is all stickers. Um, and a lot of the yellow is actually stickers. That's going to go over a lot of the white pieces. Um, like the skirts and stuff, those are all going to be colored with stickers. So, 
It's going to be a sticker intensive kit. Uh, I will be doing one um, that I'm painting because I want the metallic green to look nice. Um, but we'll also do one with the stickers to show you what that looks like. Yep. So there you go. Um, and uh, we'll be putting that together. We'll do a review as early as we can. Matane, everyone. Matane.